Did you know organic waste will account for half of global waste by 2050? And where will all this waste go? Well, in most cases, it will end up sitting in an open dump or a landfill, bearing a heavy cost on our communities, our governments, and our planet. See, waste is almost universally considered to be a burden, an inconvenient truth. And if you were to ask us one year ago today, we too would have said waste is a burden. But today, we want to ask the question, what if waste is not a burden, but an asset? What if waste can go on to live a second life and create value for our communities? To answer these questions, Ludovine and I are going to tell you a story about a fly. But not just any fly. This fly has the power to transform waste into a solution, not a burden. It has the power to feed millions and create entire new economies. But first, we'll step back to where our story begins. Our journey begins in Uganda. Two years ago, during our gap year, my partner and I were traveling in Uganda with one mission in mind, to meet farmers and understand the sustainability challenges that they faced on the ground. We collected hundreds of stories. We saw firsthand the challenges that farmers faced due to climate change. Farmers who got creative or were able to develop alternative solutions were better able to mitigate risks and ensure their livelihood as a family. Meet John. John is a coffee farmer. And since coffee is only harvested once or twice a year, he wanted an additional recurring income. So he decided to rear poultry, which is a great addition to his income due to the regular eggs. Now, you can imagine our concern when one year later we returned to visit John and saw that his cages were empty. Why were they empty? Well, he explained that he was no longer able to afford fish meal, his primary source of poultry feed. We discovered that due to overfishing in Lake Victoria, fish meal had become too expensive and was of too low quality, as it was even being mixed with sand. And as it turns out, John isn't alone. Farmers across Africa are overpaying for low quality fish meal, which is affecting their business and not to mention our water sources. And so we realized that we had to find a new and more sustainable source of protein. So whilst we came to Uganda with one mission, we left with an entirely new one, one that we were both very passionate about, to find solutions for John and farmers just like him. Now that's a great goal, but how on earth were two business students going to do that? Well, over the next few weeks, these challenges really stayed with us. And as any great idea, this one came to us completely randomly. My partner was reading an article, and there it was in black and white. Nature's original composter and protein, the black soldier fly. The article described a South African-based company, AgriProtein, that was using these flies to transform organic city waste into sustainable protein. How are they doing this? Well, you see, the black soldier flies are an incredible insect. First, they breed larvae. And then, these larvae love organic waste. So much so, that they're not picky eaters at all. They'll eat just about anything, from brewery to fruits and vegetables to old pieces of meat. And once they've reached peak protein content, we can serve them whole or dried and ground into protein powder form. And so we wondered, could these flies be a circular solution to managing our organic waste? Could fly protein replace fish meal? Of course. Chickens naturally eat insects. And we then discovered that they could even be fed to fish, pigs, turtles, lizards, and dogs. But what's even cooler is what we discovered soon after. We discovered that this protein has many uses far beyond John's farm. So perhaps most interesting to you and I here today is the protein can be ground up into a flour and baked into delicious cookies, pasta, and pancakes for human consumption. And maybe most compelling to us are the significant advantages that black soldier fly protein offer compared to alternative proteins. We can create the same high quality nutrient dense protein using a fraction of the land, water and energy to do so. Under the circumstances of our current livestock industry, we must seriously consider insect protein and alternative proteins as a new normal, a new superfood and maybe even the mini livestock of tomorrow. 
they may very well go on to revolutionize the way we create food in urban spaces in the years to come. See, they're hyper-resource efficient, and they thrive in high-density areas. So thank you thanks to vertical, vertical farming, we're able to rear them virtually anywhere, ranging from outdoors on John's farm to indoors on our very own kitchen counters. Now, when we think big picture, perhaps most sustainable of all is that this protein is perfectly zero waste. So what that means is, since the only input used to rear this protein is organic waste, we will never run out of protein so long as humans create waste. Now, if this has only half the impact on you as it originally had on me, you'll understand why I dropped everything to join this project. Having had no background in flies, only a passion for circular and social business, this is where it all started to click. Ludovine and I and the team on the ground started to get really excited. Could black soldier fly be the food of the future? See, it only made sense. On the one hand, we know that we have this rising waste crisis and that waste in developing countries will increase more than three times in the coming decades. This leaves us looking for more space-efficient and circular ways of managing all this waste. And then, on the other hand, we know that we have rising, rapidly rising food demand and we must increase food production by 70% if we want to meet the demand of tomorrow. This has us looking for new, innovative ways and resource-efficient ways to create protein in the coming years. So, when we imagine a world of tomorrow, how will we feed 9 billion? How will we manage all this waste? If you're anything like Alessandra and I, you may believe that black soldier flies could be a part of the solution. On our journey in Uganda, we found that rapidly rising food demand and climate change are not just problems there, they're global. Our waste has untapped powers, and so do the flies that for millennia have been cleaning up our, organics, orga our planet's organic waste. By using nature-inspired solutions, we could solve some of mankind's largest problems. Whilst we may not have all the answers, some may be lying right in front of us staring up from our waste bins, or buzzing around our backyards. Thank you. <laughs>